Well, the suspects in a string of deadly attacks and robberies that terrorized the Southland are now behind bars. The crimes took place at convenience stores in Santa Ana, La Havre, Brea, Riverside, Upland, and Ontario. The suspects are also linked to four more holdups and a deadly shooting in the San Fernando Valley. Our KCAL 9's Lauren Posen is live in Brea tonight, where there was a vigil for the clerk shot and killed in that crime spree, Lauren. Well, Leslie, tonight, friends and family of 7-Eleven clerk Matt Hirsch are here to pay their respects to a man they say just had a passion for life. Now, I want to show you one of the signs here they placed out tonight. It says they got a Matt rest in peace. Now, despite those suspects sitting in jail tonight, people here tell me justice has not been served. Friends and family of 7-Eleven clerk Matthew Hirsch came by to pay their respects one final time before his memorial outside the Brea store he was shot and killed at is taken down. Chris Anderson says Hirsch was his neighbor and good friend. These are just some pictures that we had of Matt that we thought um, we wanted to give him a face. We wanted people to know who he was, how beautiful his smile was to match his, his beautiful personality. Friday, police arrested 20-year-old Malik Pat and 44-year-old Jason Payne in connection to killing Hirsch and gunning down another man along with hurting three others during a violent crime spree at 6711 stores. It happened all within a five-hour time span early Monday in Riverside, Ontario, Upland, Brea, Santa Ana, and La Habra. No one wins here. You know, as for the suspects' families, they're gonna, their life's going to be in turmoil. You know, for all of us involved in New Matt, we're never going to be okay. The pair is also suspected of four more robberies and another fatal shooting in the San Fernando Valley. Detectives say the mass shooter is Pat. Someone this man says gave him $5 moments before the armed robbery at this 7 Eleven store in La Habra. He asked us not to show his face out of fear for his safety. I heard him tell the clerk to get on the floor, so I went into the freezer and I called 911. He says that morning with Platt replays in his mind continually, but is taking relief knowing for now he's locked up and can't hurt anyone else. I'm just glad he's gone. I'm glad he's caught because uh, those people didn't deserve to die. Nobody did nothing to him. Now, those suspects could face charges as early as Monday. The Orange County DA says those charges could include murder, attempted murder, and robbery. Reporting live in Brea, Lauren Posen, KCAL 9 News. Lauren, thank you so much.